welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be cleaning my sofa and chair and footstool. We have been putting off kind of cleaning this up for a while. We've had this sofa since our first house. This is now our fourth house? Third or fourth. Um, this is rented so the carpets and everything, uh, you know, they were already in. The furniture is ours and will be being sold before we move to our next house, um, which should be soon, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, we wanted to clean the sofa up because we want to be able to sell it on or at least give it away um, when we move. So, and with the state it was in, it was just obviously not, it wasn't nice. You don't want to give that to anybody, even if it is for free. So we, and we decided that we we're going to need a cleaner of some sort going forward because we've got a child and he's a boy and if I know anything from my nieces and nephews, they make a mess, a lot of mess. So we decided to get the Vax Spot Wash. We've never used it before. This is his first time using it today um, on our furniture. And so, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did it, how I used it, how, what I think and what I feel. Um, currently, this is the sofa behind me. The chair is to the side here and then the footstool is there. Um, Everything is disgusting, so yeah, all of it needs a proper good wash. Um, but yeah, we've been putting this off. We've had this stuff for probably then seven years. I would definitely say seven years. Because me and Cora have been together eight, and we moved in together not long after we kind of got together, and this was the sofa we bought. So yeah, I would say uh, seven years at least. So yeah, seven years, it's moved to two to three houses, maybe more. So, I'm babbling. So, I'm gonna clean the sofa. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm just gonna get on with it. Let's go. Quick note. If you're gonna do this, have it on a nice day, if you can. It's beautiful today, like, stunning. It is end of April-ish. Mm. So, yeah, I've chosen a really nice day, so I've got the door open, the windows, um, just so then I can get this sofa dry before I actually wanna come back and sit on it, because who wants to sit on a wet sofa? Nobody. So as you know I am using the Vax Spot Wash so because it was brand new we just had to quickly get it unpackaged and um, get it all together. A lot of the reviews said like that you really needed to pay attention to the instructions and how to use it because people um, talked about it leaking, the actual machine leaking um, and not really working properly and some other things in the re reviews. So I took the extra time to properly set up the machine and really re re read how to use it um, just so then I didn't experience any of these things. I had no problems. So as you can see I'm showing you the sofa beforehand, showing you the footstool and all the stains that are on it. These are disgusting I realise but we have a son with severe reflux so a lot of these are like just baby sick or spills. Um, and we've also never cleaned the sofa in this style um, since we've had it. We've obviously done touch-ups and like wiping it down, things like that, but apart from that, the sofa and the chair have both been pretty much left to their own devices for the past seven years. Um, so yeah, you yeah, can see the stains on the chair and the sofa beforehand, just so that you can really see at the end of the video what it's gonna turn out like. Um, so once I kind of shipped off Oliver to my mum's, I came back and kind of just stripped the area of anything that I didn't want getting wet or soapy. He is next to me, don't worry about that. So I decided to strip off the cushions from the pillows and give them a wash at the same time, just so then everything was a nice refresh together. Um, and I decided to leave the bottom cushions on so then the sofa was kind of all one tone. I didn't want them to go into the washing machine and come out with different kind of colouring in that sense. So yeah, I cleared the area, finally got to have a rest because that was quite hard work and then I got to work. I stripped off the cushions from the sofa, realised that there was a lot of like gunk at the back of the sofa and in the little crevices so I give that a quick back out. <laughs> yes, I give that a quick clean out before I got started. Um, I did notice ooh, um, that when I was cleaning the sofa, when I first got started, the spray, water spray kind of just goes shoots off. Um, so that was a little bit frightening because it just splattered all over the walls. 
but thankfully it dried without staining the walls whether that's the paint we've got here or what but either way it didn't stain so I'm thankful for that it went on pretty easy did the water didn't realize it gonna be as soaky as it was so I put a lot of water on I don't know if you'd really need that much if you're not doing if it's just literally like a quick clean whereas mine was quite of a deep clean so I was like really trying to soak out all the stains um, so I started with the sofa and then I moved on to the footstool, which the footstool is probably the worst piece of equipment, mainly because we used it as a changing station for Oliver when he, first, when he was first born. Um, so yeah, that I give a really good soaking. I didn't need to necessarily do the sides that much. Then you'll see me working on the cushions. Again, I could have unzipped these, taken them off, put them in the washing machine, but I wanted the sofa to have a con like a continuous colouring. I didn't want one them to go in the wash and kind of discolour it in any sense so I just used the spot wash on the cushions, really easy to use. I did feel like I needed to use a lot more pressure on the um, on the cushions and on the sofa and everything just to try and really get all the water out and I, really, and I could have done longer on it because once it dried it actually felt a little stiff. Um, so if you are trying to do this yourself I would not soak it as much and I would totally go over and over again as much as you can to try and get as much of the water and the residue out of the fabric before letting it dry. Um, as you can see I did a nice close up. It was quite satisfying to watch it bring all the water out through that little like viewpoint thing. Um, the chair was easier because it had already had a cleaning before um, compared to the sofa. Uh, but it was also harder because the stains were a bit more like orangey and yellow for some reason but I think it was due to the fact that the sofa, the chair is white compared to the sofa being grey. Um, so yeah, it was really easy to use, the machine was super light to, um, to move around so it was perfect. And yeah, you can see that I've got the window up, the door open, it's a beautiful day and I just enjoyed like kind of getting things done. Um, so yeah, the chair was my last thing that I needed to do, so you look at that dirty water, that is disgusting. So I had to fill up the clean water twice, um, compared like uh, at the full amount as well that it tells you to. So I had to do it twice just to kind of get everything done. As you can see, this is the chair still damp, so you can still see that some of the stains are kind of there, um, so I don't know if they were going to dry really all that well but in the end they came out quite well once the sofa dried I think it was just more of because everything looks bad still when it's wet so yeah here's one of the cushions um, when it's drying and the footstool and the footstool was probably the best thing to come up because that was the worst and um, so when it came to drying it worked out really well So once I finished tidying up the living room, putting everything back in place, it was the next day. Um, I started. I filmed what the, you know, the sofa and the chair looked like dry. So you can see that I'm showing where the main stains were on the chair and the footstool. And honestly, it all came up really well. Like I said, it dried a little stiff, so I think it could have worked better getting the actual, like, solution out of the um, fabric. But overall, I was so pleased with how it came out. It was so good. Don't mind Oliver being excited in the background. He's also excited that the sofa's clean. So yeah, overall, really pleased. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed just, you know, cleaning my sofa with me. If you have, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, because I will be doing a lot more of these videos, especially... Thank you for your help, mister especially when we move house hopefully that is soon touch wood and yeah so if you've enjoyed it thank you for joining me like subscribe and i'll see you in another one bye